Good morning, welcome to another Jody Giant Fetch. I'm just down at the, the plot here, um, Bank Holder Monday. Uh, I think there's someone just pulled up there. It's quite quiet. It's about half past eight, nine o'clock in the morning. Uh, today I'm going to get some of my giant cabbages in. I'll show you them in a bit. I'm just busy getting the, uh, the protectors on and I've got the netting with us, so I'm going to put the net over um, just to get them protected. Dig in some um, chicken manure pellets and put some um, Vitax Q4 down as well. Um, for to help fertilize the, the cabbages so I'm gonna be I was going to grow a marrow in this section here but I've realized the person who was before has had rhubarb right in the middle of the stretch I was gonna have all the way up here for me marrow um, and I think it's a bit unpolite for to destroy the guy's rhubarb because I share with him now so what I've decided to do is cut the cut it into two patches and over here I'm going to plant cabbages up in this section and I'll probably get a couple more cabbages in this section I'll probably put red cabbages in here so I'm not digging up his uh, his rhubarb and totally destroying it so yeah I've got the first hoop on now I'm going to put the rest of the hoops on down here and cover it with the green mesh um, like netting and the same with this one I'll get I just get the hoops on today and I, I've got to make a little trip to go and get some more veg from my unit. Um, here will be going my Omi Cornish giant uh, cabbages. I'll be putting that in this, and I've got some um, bigger netting uh, poles to go on here. But I think it may be a bit too big, so uh, we'll see. We'll see how that goes with that. I don't know what quite how I'm going to cover this yet, but we'll see. I'll work something out. Um, my polytunnel, as you can see, is absolute wreck. Um, I just wanted the frame really, but I thought I would have got a year out of the the actual cover itself and replaced it next year with a proper cover. But as you can see, where the Velcro straps are, it's just ripped um, all over the place, and there's a huge rip down the side somewhere. Um, where is it here? As you can see, it's just ripped all along the seam. They stitch it together for some reason, which just makes the integrity of the uh, the cover absolutely useless so I've bought a new cover um, coming well it should be any any moment now I'm going to build a frame around it and put a proper cover on and do it that way instead of just this Mickey Mouse cover the polytunnel was from a company called Dan cover it cost us something like 300 quid it's 8 meters by 3 meters and to be honest it's not fit for purpose really the frame seems all right but it's the cover what's the most expensive part of most polytunnels and this cover just hasn't hacked it. It's been in what, 10 days, two weeks at the most and it's destroyed already. So I'll, I'm, I've emailed the company, I'm waiting for a response to see what they say, um, but don't waste your money on a polytunnel like this because they're absolutely garbage. Um, I should have just built one start to finish myself which I'm gonna have to end up doing anyway but I, I was uh, like I keep saying I'm stuck with time so we'll see how it goes with this one the frame anyway but yeah it's totally destroyed but yeah I've got a lot to do today so I'll catch up later on well hopefully I've got um, a lot more done see you in a minute Welcome back, um, I've just finished planting out five of my cabbages, I'll just show you them now and I've finished doing the little cage. So as you can see I've uh, finished the little cage with the loops and the net, I've tightened the end one right down so it doesn't uh, blow away. But um, I'm thinking that you know they might, it might not be big enough for these cabbages I've got in. And um, we'll see. If, if they do get a bit tight in there I can always... Uh, take the cover off and erect some other sort of cover for to protect them for the time being but they, they seem happy in there um, at the moment I'll start on this bed now I'm going to put three giant cabbages over here which I've got spare I don't know what I'm going to do with this bit actually I'm, I was going to put the cabbages on there but I've run out of blue pipe for to make a cover so I'm going to put a load of cabbages in here so I'll work out what I'm going to do it's a case of suck it and see at the moment I think but yeah, I'll, uh, I'll crack on with this. I've got loads to do with the day. Time is of the essence sort of thing. I've got uh, so much work to do um, and no time. So there's going to be a lot of late nights spent down here uh, doing stuff as well. 
I'll um I'll you can join us again in a few minutes uh, when I've got everything else sorted out. I've got to make a trip and go and get some onions and uh, some of my leeks and some of my cabbages so I can start getting them planted out. So I'll see you again in a moment. Hello there, it's later on in the day. Um, I'll show you a quick roundup of what I've done today. Um, in the, the polytunnel, as you can see, I've, uh, I've got the trenches ready for the leeks to go out. Apparently it's going to be quite cool tonight, so I'm not going to plant the leeks out yet. So that's both them trenches done. Yeah. Still got a lot of clutter to tidy up. There's a lot of mess about, as you can see. Um, but I've got the cabbages done. There and there, done and dusted. I've got nine cabbages in here, and I've built like a frame as you can see, because last year I got absolutely hammered, hammered by pigeons. Um, they ate everything. So this year I've protected everything the best I can. I've got two of the med, uh, three of the Medwin Williams uh, giant cabbages, three Cornish giants, and three red uh, cabbages, giant red cabbages. Let's see if we can get some big red cabbages. Over here, I have built another big frame, as you can see, it's quite monstrous, but uh, there's nothing I can do about that. I've got more of my cabbages in there, they're just Cornish Giants, uh, two Cornish Giants and two red cabbages. And at the front, I've got nine um, giant Swedes. Hopefully I'll get a big Swede this year. Grew a big in last year. Um, First time I did it, I didn't know what I was doing really, same as same as now, to be honest. Um, and in this trench, I've got all my onions. I've uh, got a few giants in there, and I've got about 18 qualities in there, but they're tiny, you know. I think they'll be they'll not be good enough for any shows, but I'll try them nonetheless anyway. Um, yeah, I'll try them nonetheless to see if I can get any out of them. Uh, I'll show you this thing what I've just bought. Um, it's a filter. Sorry, it's upside down, I'll turn this around for you. Um, it's a grow green filter. And basically what it does is, it filters out the chlorine out of your tap water. So for all those people who are use um, mycorrhizal fungi on your, your trenches and stuff like that, and who are feeding straight out of the tap, um, you're wasting your time and you're wasting your money putting the mycorrhizal fungi in because the chlorine will kill the bacteria good and bad um it'll kill the bacteria so you need a filter like that for to filter the the chlorine out in the chloramine um some people think that you just have to let the the water stand for 28 uh, for 24 to 48 hours and it'll evaporate off the chlorine but not all chlorine evaporates off there's another type of chlorine called chloramine uh, which is in the water which doesn't evaporate off some water companies um, I'll have to check if mine is like that but some water companies use chloramine some water companies use chlorine and that filter gets rid of both um, chloramine like I say it doesn't evaporate off so yeah you can leave it to stand for as long as you want in a water barrel um, and it's not still not evaporating the chlorine off it's still in there so check out what kind of chlorines in your water um, because I don't want you to waste your time putting mycorrhizal fungi in um, on your roots and stuff like that and then watering with chlorine based water because it'll just kill the bacteria and it's a waste of time so yeah I hope that's a little tip that um, you didn't know about but yeah I've got all my leeks to plant out I've got another trench to sort out I've got to do black and white plastic on that trench as well and fertilize it but uh, I got quite a lot done today I'm shattered absolutely pooped I've still got to build a frame around this polytunnel. I've got a new cover coming. It's absolutely useless, like I said uh, just before. But yeah, I'm happy with what I've got done today. Um, remember to subscribe and hit the like button or what all that jazz and stuff like that if you want to see future videos and further updates of what's going on. I'm going to try a marrow. I know I'm stuck for space. I've already got half a plot, as I keep saying, but I, um, I'm planning on putting a marrow down this section here and growing it alongside my uh, polytunnel. I've got like a 2 meter by 12 meter uh, or 10 or 12 meter uh, runway there so I should be able to get a marrow in there um, fingers crossed so we'll see what I can get with that and I'm thinking of uh, speaking to me 
my friend who owns this side and asking if I can do like what I did last year and link the two beds together through uh, compost like I did last year and grow from top to bottom um, that way and then I can have like two raised beds with two marrows stretching all the way across hopefully I might even do a pumpkin I'll ask him see what he says I'll see if I can borrow one of them beds um, he's, a, he's a nice bloke so I don't think he'll say no unless he's got plans for them of course but yeah as always loads more to get on with um, if I mean if I was given this full plot what I would have probably done was I would have just got a big uh, skip in and I would have just got a, a digger in and I would have just leveled the whole site off got rid of all the timber everything and started from scratch but I've had to make do with what I've got so I'll um, I'll be doing another update shortly uh, when I prep sorry when I plant up my leeks and I'll show you what's going on in the the shop um, and what I'm going to be doing in the shop so um, subscribe and you'll get to see the next video thanks for watching and I'll see you again on the next one